Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play the song called Take Me Home Country Roads. Okay, so here we go. Give you a preview of the awesome chorus section you're going to learn in this song, the part that everybody knows. So you can check it out, give you a preview, it goes like this. That's it. You repeat it. It's a very nice song, you can do a lot with it. And yeah, let's go ahead and learn the melody and chords for it, as usual, because that forms everything. And now after that, it's just like adding improvisation and decorations to it. So here we go. So this is how it goes. Right, and um, how many parts are you gonna break it up into? Let me see, I'm thinking, okay. Okay, so we're gonna break it up into two parts so it's easier to learn. So here we go. Uh, the first part goes like this. Actually, we're gonna break it up to four parts so it's even easier to learn. So here we go, the first part goes like this, goes, Starting the A here, middle C's here for reference, go up to the A, that's where we start, so it goes A, B, C sharp, B, A, B. And that is the first part for the right hand, okay? So one more time for this first part, so it goes like this. A, B, C sharp, B, A, B, and that's it for the right hand for the first part. Once you get that, left hand, two chords here for the first part, the two chords are A major, which is A, C sharp, E, and then the second chord is E major, which is E, G sharp, B. Okay, so with these two chords in mind, so A major followed by E major, the two hands together goes like this, right hand starts first, after C sharp, A major by itself, and continues, after B, E major by itself, like that. And that's the first part. Okay, one more time, like this. Here, two, three, four. Here, two. And that's it for the first part. After you get this first part, let's move on to the second part now. So the second part continues like this. Right hand goes C sharp, B, A, up to C sharp, E, F sharp, like that. And that's the second part for the right hand. Okay, one more time for this second part. So it goes like this, goes C sharp, B, A, C sharp, E, F sharp, like that for the right hand, okay? Once you get that right hand there, the second part, left hand, two chords here, the two chords are F sharp minor, which is F sharp, A, C sharp, and second chord is D major, which is D, F sharp, A, okay? So with these two chords in mind, so F sharp minor followed by D major, the two hands together goes like this, right hand starts, after A, F sharp minor by itself, two, three, and then four, after F sharp, D major by itself. And that's it for the second part. One more time for the second part, so let's play like this. Here, two, three, four. One, two, three, and that's it for the second part. So back to back, the two parts we've learned so far will be play like this, check it out. Like that, sounds awesome already. Okay, now moving on to the third part. Third part, right hand continues. It goes F sharp down to C sharp, E, C sharp, B, A, B, C sharp. And that's the third part, okay? A bit more notes compared to the other parts. There are eight notes in this third part. Okay, one more time, so it goes like this. So it goes F sharp, C sharp, E, C sharp, B, A, B, C sharp, like that for the right hand. And that's the right hand for the third part. Left hand, we have the exact same two chords as the first part. If you recall that, that's A major, which is A, C sharp, E, followed by the second chord, which is E major, which is E, G sharp, B. Okay, so with these two chords in mind, so A major followed by E major, the two hands together goes like this. Right hand starts first, after E, A major by itself, and then after B, E major by itself, and that's it. One more time, so it goes like this, here. Here. And that's it for the third part. So back to back, the three parts we've learned so far where we play like this. Check it out. And 
Moving on to the fourth and last part of the section, right hand continues, it goes B A A A B A and that's it for the right hand. One more time for this right hand, so it goes B A A A B A and that's it for the right hand, okay? For the fourth part. Left hand, we have the same two chords as the uh, 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 wait, no, it's not the same two chords anymore. Okay, different. Scrap that, so the two chords here is D major, which is D, F sharp, A, and second chord is A major, A, C sharp, E. Okay, so yeah, these two chords, okay, so they're different to the other parts, so D major and A major. But you kind of learnt these two chords already as well, separately. So anyways, with those two chords in mind, the two hands together goes like this, similar to the other rhythms of the first and second part, it goes right hand starts first, and after that, D major by itself, two, three, right hand comes in, after A, A major by itself, like that. And that's it, one more time, so it goes like this. Here, two, three, four, one, two, three, like that, okay? And that's it for this fourth part. So back to back, the four parts will be played like this, check it out. That's it. Okay, so what you can do after that is add like these left hand patterns to make it sound more interesting, like, like what I did in the preview. So for example, left hand you can do just a um, portal pattern, counting fours, like that, okay? So like this. Like that, okay? And then if you're a bit more advanced and you can get more hand independence out of it, you can like make arpeggios for the left hand and right hand you can combine with the chords like this. Okay, a lot of stuff that you can do with it if you have more musical knowledge uh, with the improvisations and decorations. Okay, so if you want to learn how to play all this more advanced stuff, um, like how to improvise, how to do all these patterns, they're all learnable. You can just apply them like a formula over like the chords. Okay, so if it, um, yeah, go ahead. You can actually learn them from my piano courses. Look in the description below my website, bestpianomethod.com. You can learn from my piano courses there. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So um, check out the rest of my channel as well. I literally have multiple thousands and thousands and thousands of other piano videos on this channel for you to enjoy and learn from just alone on this channel as well but anyways yeah check out uh the other like i guess video game music because this is actually recently this has been featured in um uh, fallout the new fallout the upcoming fallout game so yeah i do a lot of video game music i do a lot of like pretty much everything okay but anyway yeah go ahead check out the channel enjoy time around my channel and see you next time I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.